Hey guys, welcome back to the Manchester United career mode and today we are starting season two. This is the most exciting part of any career mode. It's the beginning of the new season and it's time to improve the squad. Make sure you've got enough players and enough quality players to make sure you achieve your objectives and your targets for the season. Now in the last episode we, we sort of began the career mode. We had a few of our objectives set to us by the board but one of them was missing and that was the Champions League. I got the email and they want me to win the Champions League. So uh, the pressure is truly on. Basically, the board want me to get the treble. And I think with the squad that we've got, it's definitely possible. As ever, you guys have been leaving your comments and feedback, telling me players that you think I should be looking at. And this is the shortlist that I've come up with. Now, there's one player on here that I've put there just because I actually quite fancy making a signing that I've never made before and I quite fancy using him for once. And that is Ganzo. Now, if you don't know who Ganzo is... I think it was FIFA 11, maybe FIFA 12, when he was about 21 years old. He was like, you know, the next big thing from Brazil. Unfortunately, I think through a few injuries, his career kind of went downhill. Um, and now he's 26 and no one really knows of him. But he is just an absolutely amazing player throughout the last few FIFAs. And finally... I think I'm going to make the signing. I think I want to bring Ganzo in as my backup cam. The other players are Varane, Azpilicueta, Matuidi, Pogba, of course, Kante, Hamzik and Harry Kane. These are all players that are heavily linked with Man United this season, last season, the season before, or just players that you guys might want to see. Um, Hamzik, do you know what? I'm actually thinking I'm going to take him off the list now. Uh, the problem with Hamzik is, I, I believe he's said recently, he wants to retire at Napoli. But not only that, there are other players on this list that I would rather have in his position, if that makes sense. We've got Kante. He's linked with a lot of clubs. PSG, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United. But who knows what's going to happen with him. It wouldn't surprise me if he ends up at PSG, to be honest. Now, Pogba is, at the moment, as I'm recording this, just all over the news. Apparently, he is on his way to Manchester United for over 100 million euros, which is just insane. He will become the most expensive player in the world. Now, um, if you saw the last episode, you will know my budget is pretty good right now. We've got £86 million to spend. Now, with Pogba, he is actually at Arsenal in this career mode. They signed him last season for about £49 million, I believe it was. So, I don't think they're going to want to sell him at all. But what I'm thinking of is maybe making a swap deal here. Schneiderlin. Oh, it's so difficult because I've got Matic. I've got Herrera. I've got uh, Saul. And if I bring in Pogba, do I really need Schneiderlin? Oh, what do I do? I don't want to get rid of Saul. I, I think probably Schneidlin's the best choice here. We'll let him go to Arsenal and get Pogba instead. Let, let's give it a go. We'll just see what they say. I'll chuck in £30 million plus Schneidlin. So it looks like Chelsea are going to make a bid here for Smalling. It says they're interested in him. There is absolutely no way I'll be selling him. Here we go. How much is it going to be? 30.5. I mean, I wouldn't even sell him for 50. Now, I know a lot of people probably say, what? Smalling isn't that good. But trust me, in this game, he is just incredible next to Bailey I've already mentioned it a few times they're just crazy good together okay so it looks like Arsenal are not happy with that offer they're not interested in Schneidlin I'm, I'm actually not that surprised maybe it's a good thing we've got a transfer here for Martial again another player that there is just absolutely no chance that I would let him go he's incredible now with Arsenal I guess we're just gonna have to keep Schneidlin it's not a bad thing we can afford Paul Pogba with just cash so I'll go in I'm going to actually offer them a really good deal here. I will give them a way out to, to break even £49 million. That's what they spent on him. That's what I'm going to offer. Okay, now this is good news. Arsenal have accepted £49 million for Paul Pogba. So they've decided to cut their losses and break even there. I'm surprised. They could probably have... They could have probably said, no, we want 55 and I would have done it. But um, either way, we've got some bad news as well. Rooney's going to be out for eight weeks. He's going to miss the start of the season. We'll give him what he wants, 170,000 for an 86 rated player. That's actually really good. I thought it was going to be more than that. We'll give him a four-year contract. And of course, crucial first team player. Let's get him in the club. And guys, it's done. Paul Pogba has accepted the contract. And I'm quite surprised how easy this was. Maybe I'm overpaying slightly, but... Like I said, I would have I would have paid more. I actually would have paid more, but it's gone through. We've just signed Paul Pogba. That is absolutely huge. Now, the question is, is where do I put him in this team? It's a really difficult one, guys, but I think I've decided that Mkhitaryan at the start is going to come out of the team. I used him a lot in the Dortmund career mode. I'm really enjoying Martial and Bale, so I think Mkhitaryan is the one that's going to come out for now. I'm thinking Pogba at Cam. And then maybe swapping in with Rooney every now and again because they can both play in each other's positions. But Pogba, I actually think going forward is a little bit better than him going back. 
and helping out defending. So uh, that's how I'm going to sort out the team for now. It does mean Mkhitaryan comes out on the bench, which is just crazy. 86 rated, can't even get into the team right now. Um, but let me know what you think I should do below. This is the hardest thing about bringing in new signings. It's just finding positions for them to play and taking out some of your favourite players. Okay, so I've got the full scout report back on Ganzo here. You're probably going to look at his stats and think, what are you thinking, Matt? You know what, though? I've always wanted to sign Ganzo. I've always wanted to. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring him into the club and he will be my backup cam. He'll be in the second team. I probably won't use him too much, but he's a beast. He's an absolute beast on this game. He may not be quick, but with 12 months remaining on his contract, he's going to be cheap. 3.4 to 4.8 million. I'm going to throw in a 3.4 million offer. Literally the lowest there. Okay, so my bid was rejected. They want more money. So I'll go in with the maximum my chief executive thinks I should go for. 4.8 million. And let's see if this works. What the hell? They rejected it again. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to have to go up even more now. I'm really, really surprised. I thought that that would have been quite an easy deal to get across the line because he's only got 12 months left. But we'll go back in with 5.5 this time. Oh, and finally they give me a price. 9 million. That's quite a lot of money. I'm going to make one final offer. I'll go in with 7.5. I don't want him that much. Jesus. And there we have it. They've accepted 7.5 million for Ganzo. It looks like Spurs are trying to sign him as well. So I'd definitely like to beat Spurs to it. Let's go ahead and get this done. 80,000 per week is a lot of money. But do you know what? I'm going to do it, guys. I just, I just fancy getting him to this team. Um, we'll go with squad rotation player. I mean, I don't know if he's actually going to accept that or not. We will soon find out. But if I can beat Spurs to it, that'd be great. But enough of the transfer window. We're now going into the next game. It's the Community Shield against Everton at Wembley. And of course, that means Pogba is making his debut for Manchester United. I can't believe that that could actually come true. Here we go with Pogba. His first touch on the ball. I'm going to try and get this over the top for Bale. What a lovely pass. Look at that. The perfect weight on it. Here's Carvajal. I see Pogba making a run. Here he is. Now Martial, can he get through? His French teammate as well. Back into Pogba. Oh my god, that pass was terrible, but so was that control from Stones. And now Pogba's going through here. Hit it. Almost. Come on, Bale, get the rebound. Holy shit. Come on, Pogba, win it back. Oh, imagine if he scored on his debut with a lovely finesse shot outside the box. It would have been perfect. Oh, Saul's made a good tackle here. Pass it into Ibra. To Pogba. Hits it first time with your left foot. Oh my god, he's hit the bar. Oh, that is so unlucky. I thought that was it. What a strike. And there is the half-time whistle. We really should be winning this game right now. Get this up to Pogba. Here we go again. Now, Ibra's been a bit quiet in this game. I still can't pick him out. We've given it to Martial instead. Got Sal running through, but I'm going to give it to Matic. I'm going to hit this. Go on. Oh, what a save by Mandanda. Time to make some changes now. Ibra's been really quiet today, so Rashford's going to come on. Mkhitaryan on the left and Schneidlin at CDM as well. Oh, we could be through here already. Mkhitaryan's literally just come on. Maybe he can get an assist. Get the cross in. Rashford's there. Rashford's first touch, man. That is ridiculous. And Mkhitaryan, what a cross that was. That is an unbelievable goal. I've literally just made the changes. Oh, oh my god, Rashford. That is absolutely filthy. That could be the winning goal as well. Blow the whistle, ref, please. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Yes, there we go, guys. We have won the Community Shield. A great start to the season. It, it wasn't our best game ever, but Pogba, I thought, had a really good debut. Could have easily scored one or two goals. Bale was great on the right, but more importantly, Rashford, man. What a goal that was. Now the question is, are we going to sign Ganzo before the City game? Yes, we are. Ganzo is joining up with the squad before that game. A little bit more expensive than I would have liked, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes in career modes, you've just got to make a signing that you want to make. And I think I'm going to really enjoy using Ganzo. He's a left-footed beast. And guys, that is going to be the end of the first episode of Season 2. In the next episode, we've got that game against City. What a way to kick off the season against our arch rivals, who probably will be there in the top four come the end of the season. But I'm really happy with my squads. I mean, look at that team. How can you not be happy with it? It's ridiculous. Pogba's already gone up to 87. And look at the second team as well, with Ganzo coming in at the middle. The second team is really strong as well. Probably good enough to get a top four finish, maybe a top six on its own. So 
really, really happy with how things have gone. Don't forget to leave any comments below to, uh, to suggest any more players. Uh, the budget at the moment is still 30 million, so that Ganzo deal really hasn't made any difference. We should be able to sign some more players if you guys want to see more. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode very soon.